Hi friends, welcome to First Studies YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how a data analyst can convert into Azure Data Engineering. This is very common question. Many subscribers generally asking me. So I thought of creating a detailed roadmap kind of a thing. What to learn first, then how to progress. Uh, so let's stay tuned for this video to know that completely. And so it will be helpful to you guys. Not only for data analyst, even any other role people also, if you can follow this roadmap, what I'm going to discuss in this video, it will help for them also to convert themselves into Azure Data Engineering role. So firstly, the introduction part. Uh, basically, so since we are talking in the context of data analyst role, uh, it is very, very much connected role. Data engineering role is connected with the data analyst role because most of the things you will learn on top of what you know already, okay? So transitioning from data analyst role to data engineer role, it's a good career move, I say, because it will actually builds the skills on top of your existing skills. The skills what you have are going to be plus one to it or add on to the new skills what is needed for the Azure data engineering role. Okay, because what are those add-ons is um, being a data analyst, you might be mostly focusing on a SQL writing queries and all playing with the data, but now you will additionally learn cloud and engineering skills as well. Okay, so what are this? You will understand in the upcoming slides. So firstly, let's understand the difference between what is data analyst role and what is data engineer or Azure data engineer role in this space. So data analyst mainly focuses on analyzing data. They may write queries on the SQL or they may play with the data inside the Power BI or in the Excels and they will create a reports out of it. And from that reports, they, they will help to give the insights from the data that will help the business leaders to take the better decisions. So basically they will play with the data in, in the angle of analysis. So they will always issue some queries on top of the data. They will aggregate the data. They will see how the data look like, all that kind of stuff. Whereas when it comes to the Azure data engineering role or the data engineering role, this is basically taking the whole raw data and converting into a meaningful data via by building some data pipelines means your data may be scattered across many different data sources. You have to take all that data and collect and keep it at one place. So you will build a data pipeline there and you, when you collected the whole data and kept it at some place, you need data storages there in the cloud maybe. So because it's a huge data, you will dump at one place first and then you will try to refine the data, transform the data uh, and take the only meaningful data from it. Uh, you, Whenever you take such data, you will make sure the data quality, you are taking data in a correct fashion or not. So you will play with a lot of various cloud resources uh, and also you will play, you will work with big data and all, okay? So when it comes to the data engineering role. Data analyst will not play with the big data because a structured data for them already is there. Now they have to work with the uh, Excel or SQL queries there uh, to see the the outcomes are metrics from that particular thing but data engineer is not like that data engineer play with the big data use cloud services to build the data pipelines and and use the data storages etc okay so now uh, what skills being a data analyst are any role which i need to strengthen myself right so basically right in this context since you may coming from the data analyst role sql will be you likely already know but what you have to make sure is to improve your SQL skills a little further in the dimension of optimization and advanced queries. So how to optimize or how to write a SQL queries, it will have optimization, the execution, et cetera, right? So you need to uh, research in that angle and try to explore few queries and understand the few SQL concepts in that dimension. Then Python is needed. Being a data analyst, you might be not using a Python much, but being a data engineer, it is almost essential because most of the ETL tools, automations, sometimes you might need to hit some APIs to get the data. So everything you might end up with need of writing a basic Python code. So Python is almost essential. And I created one video saying, is Python mandatory for data engineers? Please watch that video also. So a basic Python is always important. So focus that, okay? Then the data modeling concepts. Being a data analyst, you won't worry. The data is there. You will go and query the data. But in the data analysis, data engineering role, you need to, because you're taking the whole amount of raw data and you need to take some structured data out of it, some meaningful data out of it. So you need to know how to take it, how to plan the schema, et cetera. 
So there are some data modeling uh, concepts around it, like a star schema, snowflake, and normalization for data analyst. So these techniques you need to research and try to learn them. Okay. So if you don't know, uh, maybe I will also create few videos on top of them in future, very future. But you need to strengthen your skills in that data modeling skills area too. Now, so once it is done, what you have to do since we are talking about Azure data engineering role, uh, you need to know basic Azure means. So what Azure fundamentals? There is a certification called AZ 900, which is Azure fundamental certificate. You need to know basic Azure concepts like what is cloud means? What is Azure means? How a resource will look like in Azure? What is a resource group in Azure? What is a subscription? Uh, what are different types of services available in, in Azure? Most of the people may already know if they don't know, they should know them. Uh, not AZ 900, but in my YouTube channel, Azure Basics, there is one small playlist. You can watch that four or five videos at least for a better idea. Otherwise, plan for Azure AZ 900 certification or watch some Azure Basics videos to see to get an overall idea of what is Azure Cloud or how it will look like, or what are the different terminologies there, how to create a resource there, what is service means. So you need to have a basic comfortable understanding on various type of a services provided by Azure and all. Uh, and various type of uh, security systems provided by Azure and all. So the basic Azure fundamentals you need to focus because our role may be Azure data engineering role. If you want to focus the data engineering not via in Azure, maybe AWS. So accordingly AWS fundamentals, right? So basic fundamentals on the cloud service is important. Then once it is there on that cloud to work with the data, there might be some data services which helpful to data engineers to perform their job. So what are those data services we have to understand and learn? In this case of Azure, uh, there are a couple of Azure data services like Data Factory, Synapse Analytics, Databricks, Blob Storage, SQL. So these services are very much important for us to know. So especially Data Factory, Synapse, Databricks and all right. So that's where you do most of the work. So you need to know how to work with these services. So Data Factory is there to create the ETL pipelines. Synapses for data warehousing and data transformation. Even Databricks is something like that only. So you need to know these services. So try to explore each of these services. Blob Storage, SQL Database, a basic high level is enough. But whereas Data Factory, Synapse and Databricks, you need to know more deeper concepts. How to do the implementations there. You need to know. Uh, all the videos are available in my YouTube channel. Data Factory, Synapse, Databricks related videos. You guys can go through those videos or not only my channel, any other channel, wherever you feel comfortable, you can go through. Once you know this data factory, Synapse, Databricks, and maybe inside the Databricks, PySpark also will come. So once you know these things, right, uh, you might have heard Microsoft Fabric, right? So Microsoft Fabric is more or less same. So if you know these things, you will you know Microsoft Fabric as well. A little bit of UI will be different, so don't worry about it. So focus on these services and maybe watch few fabric videos as well from my playlist that will help you. So basically master the data services which are available inside the Azure. Okay. So once this is done, you are pretty much done. But what is a complementary or a plus one to you or, or, or the advantage to you is if you can do a certification also on the Azure data engineering. So there is DB203 certification which covers how to develop the data solutions and how to secure and monitor the data solutions. So those concepts, it is for you to examine yourself that I'm doing better or not. So if you can go for the certification, that will be like an add-on for you guys, right? So think about it if, if you can go for the certification as well. Uh, and also, whenever you are learning it, make sure you have to learn these things with like a hands-on kind of a practice. It's not like just watching something and listening. Try to practice that, hands-on do that. Maybe build a small ETL pipeline in the area of, uh, and maybe maybe create a data lake or a storage accounts and integrate that with a synapse or maybe work create some dummy real time project maybe migration your whole company data on premises to azure something such such kind of a real time scenario projects take some ideas and implement it so basically the idea is hands on on top of it whatever you are seeing it uh, in a video or in a lecture try to practice the same thing by yourself the hands on is very much important okay uh, so those are the things are uh, absolutely mandatory for you to uh, go for it. Uh, this streaming and DevOps are actually uh, helpful if you have it because when you work as a data engineer or any role nowadays, even DevOps or other kind of a things is not like something uh, like a DevOps separate team will be there in most of the 
projects, uh, even DevOps part, the main team itself is taking care of it. Uh, in some companies, DevOps team is different, but in most of the companies, even DevOps related uh, pipeline creations and all for your data solutions, uh, company is expecting you to do it. So I will highly encourage you to know few concepts in DevOps as well, like learn how to do the CI CD pipelines, etc. in Azure DevOps. Uh, and also there is something called event hub for streaming data. Uh, in data engineering solutions, sometimes the data what you get from the source is streaming data. That means continuously it is coming. So and whenever the data comes, you might need to do something else. So to do that kind of a job, event hub is there in Azure. So along with the Azure data services, which I listed before here, if you know event hub also a high level, which, which it is going to be very helpful to you guys. OK, so think about I mean plan a, a one or two sessions to learn yourself for the event hub and IoT hub as well. So that's it in this video. I hope now you are clear with the roadmap how to a, a data analyst can become a Azure data engineer. So go ahead with all those steps, strengthen your core skills, understand the Azure fundamentals, then understand the Azure data services like data factory, Synapse, Databricks, etc. Then maybe plan for a certification also, try hands on and uh, a DevOps simple CI CD pipeline and the event hub, etc. If you know all of these things, you will do way better than many other colleagues in your team. Okay, so please focus on these skills. You will become a good data engineer for sure. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you feel this video helped you, hit like and subscribe button and also comment if any other topic which I which you want me to talk on. So thank you for listening. Have a nice day.